What's goody my G's? Today's video is going to be a little different. We're actually going to be looking at a story from another Dasher that was deactivated. And this isn't going to be a sad story or a sob story. This is actually a motivational story. This person was deactivated off the platform and instead of crying about it and panicking and wondering what he was going to do with himself, he went out and you'll see in the story what he did. If this does ever happen to you, which I hope deactivation never happens to anyone, at least you can come back to this video and see your you're not the only one and just because you are deactivated off any of the apps that you do it's not the end of the world as long as you look at the light at the end of the tunnel so let's get into the story and i'll see you guys after it's done was a full-time dasher since the pandemic march of 2020 got deactivated on august 22nd 2022 while i was picking up an order no reason was given until four days later saying that i had a complaint saying I was being rude. 96% customer rating, 23% acceptance rate, 98% completion, with around 8.9k deliveries. I live in a small town and was making around 40k the first year of the pandemic and around 30k the second year. This year I was making around 2k a month, market is saturated, and car expenses was ridiculous. Everything I made went back to the car and gas. I was devastated because it was my main income. I know it was not an income I could count on in the long run, but I was devastated nonetheless because I didn't have any income coming in and the thought of looking for a crappy $10 to $16 an hour job with long hours just killed me. I panicked, I would say. Had a bit of savings to last one month since I didn't do any instant pay. Went out immediately the next day looking for a job and got lucky with an interview by the end of the week. The interview process took about two weeks and I landed a job. I start on 9822. The job pays very, very well. Don't have to use my own car or pay for gas because it's a company car. Don't really have a boss. Field tech, just like Dashing Gig, have short hours, got insurance, health, dental, vision, 401k, and don't have to deal with people much. I make more than twice what I was making this year with shorter hours and weekends off. The con for me was I don't slash can't smoke grass as I do daily and often with dashing. But you know what? After nearly two months of quitting the grass, I'm okay with it. I also don't have to spend $200 every other month on grass or having to look for someone to hook me up because I live in an illegal state. Overall, I am glad I was deactivated and got a decent job to redeem myself. I wish I had done this sooner was the only regret I got. I know not everyone can be this lucky, but I also didn't know I would be this lucky. I wish you guys the same if you got deactivated or wish you to stop this gig. Good luck. And just like that, this person went from being deactivated on DoorDash, having their only source of income taken away from them. They went out, they looked for another job, and now they're doing better. And that's the way you have to think about DoorDash. DoorDash is not going to be around forever for most people, right? I'm pretty sure the food delivery aspect, people will always want their food delivered. But how long is it actually going to be a viable source of full-time income? With the, with the, I mean, the constant decreases in the base pay, the increase in the number of non-tipping customers, the increase in the long distance offers, and you have these other things like those high limit orders DoorDash is offering, and these incentives, if you take 70% of the orders, they'll give you better ones. If there are even any available, most people just say they're in that high high paying program and they don't even get better orders. So if you are looking to better your life and try to get out of DoorDash, you should start today. Really, you shouldn't wait, man. DoorDash can be, it's very matrixy if you can if you can understand what i'm saying when you're doing doordash you get that rush you're like oh my gosh look at all this money i'm making you know i'm making six dollars six dollars six dollars six dollars twenty four dollars in the first hour if you can do four orders or you get maybe three ten dollar orders it really gives you that big burst of that high that dopamine but you also don't realize that a lot of that is going to get taken from taxes and uh you don't really get that shot in the leg until the end of the year until the the next year so if you do want to better your life and maybe start investing maybe start your own company start an ebay business or amazon uh doing something while you are doing doordash that's the best thing that you can do for yourself because if you're just doing doordash and you're making just enough to survive you're making just enough to live um personally that's not a life that i want personally i would like to allocate the money that i'm making from doordash 
into something else like Solana so that in a few years when the next bull run comes around, I'll be more set. I'll, I'll be I'll be definitely set, right? If I continue to put in the amount of money that I do now. And you know, you could do that with the stock market or maybe you could save up and get a buddy or your girlfriend or boyfriend and try to invest in a piece of property and maybe make an Airbnb or something like that, right? There's a lot of opportunities out there for people. So if you enjoyed this video and it gives you hope that, you know, there's a lot of people that want to move on. I'm sure there are. Nobody wants to be delivering food forever. If this video helped you out or this video gave you some form of motivation, if you could help me out by clicking that like button because that will make me very happy. Subscribe to the channel as well and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, guys.